So here we have an uh, almost finished man cave. Uh, these are the cabinets that I've been working on uh, from my brother, or sister-in-law's man cave from my brother. And uh, this is the cabinet that was in the previous video. And uh, here it is, complete. So, post in the way here. Still need to clean up the laminate countertop yet. Need to take some solvent and uh, get the sticker off and then uh, file the edges. I made that in the shop as well. I didn't YouTube that just because it was uh, was running behind schedule. So, and up here we got a wall cabinet. Pardon the background noise. Um, nice thing about this being a man cave in the shop, I'm able to use my brother's uh, air compressor, so that's pumping up right now. But just a standard white interior, soft close. So yeah, here's a, another shallow drawer, a pair of doors on the bottom here. So the only thing I need the uh, air compressor for is to mount the toe kick. Hold on a second here. so I can uh, nail the toe kick in place, so. Unfortunately, I managed to uh, forget the nails for my nail gun. Luckily, the uh, shop is only about two minutes away, so that's nice. But well, here's a lazy, or uh, just a corner cabinet with a pair of uh, doors. It's a shelf that goes in there. And these do not have a soft close. Need to adjust that yet, but yeah. So, nice post in the way, but needs that for a kind of a staircase to go up to a mezzanine. But yeah. And then uh, here is the other cabinet that's part of that. I need to get glass for it yet, but some nice hardware, soft close, remote control, uh, the Wii remotes. So, and just some storage down below, some games and stuff for the Wii. Ah, I was going to do a little bit of exercising, but anyways, so that is the uh, little uh, entertainment center cabinet, but yeah. As long as I'm here, those of you who are interested in seeing the air compressor. brother and bleed out, bleed out his water trap. And I thought I used the heavy duty hose. He's the one who talked me into the hose to begin with. But anyways this compressor is actually made by FS Curtis. It's a I think it's a CT855 model compressor. Or it's the same compressor that goes on there. I think it's a CT um, 855, but uh, I actually looked at buying one of these as well, and there's a few things I didn't like about it. Um, 
Number one is it uses a 3450 RPM motor, which isn't the end of the world by no means, but also if you see the motor mount is special. Um, actually, the, not the motor mount, but the uh, conduit box is a special location because obviously there's not enough room here. So um, that, and I just got one heck of a deal on my Quincy. So anyways, back to work. I need to finish up this uh, man cave here in the next uh, half hour or so so I can get on to uh, the rest of my day off. So thanks for watching.